My God, it feels like 10 years since I've sat down here to film. I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me today. I'm going to actually talk about the makeup too and like try to go through and feel good about this makeup that I wanna put on. I've been doing my makeup recently and I've been using the same foundation and I sometimes like to go through and try makeup products that I haven't tried in a really long time to give it a retry and see if I still love it. So I retried my pure four in one love yourself Be foundation the other day forgot how good it was. I didn't forget. I always remember loving it and it was being perfect and the coverage is amazing and the way it looks on my skin is amazing and I and I didn't forget that, but oh my gosh, it is. I don't feel like any foundation can compare. So I'm gonna use the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation and this is in the shade MN4. And just the coverage of this, I just, not, not that I forgot, but God, it's so good. It comes in a hundred shades. I hope this they don't discontinue this. This is one of those foundations that never got as much hype as I feel like it deserved. And it is just divine. It is the best foundation I have ever used and will ever use. The coverage is uh, 10 out of 10. Like it is perfect coverage. I'm using the shade MN4 and then I have LN2. Not that you need two shades, but I, uh, I just wanna lighten up a couple of areas because this shade is a teensy bit darker than my skin tone. So the mixture is perfect. Still using my IT Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush. But like, look at that. I feel like because this came out during the hype of makeup, when every single makeup product was launching, everybody was coming out with 50 shades of foundation at the same time, this one just got overlooked a little bit because first of all, it's Pure. And I feel like Pure is one of those brands that is a little bit overlooked because there are just so many companies releasing makeup now. The hundred shades, the shades come in neutral, light, golden. They all come, they come in all the different undertones and they're just so diverse and so beautiful. The foundation has like just the most lovely finish to it. This sounds sponsored by the way it is not just doing a little extra coverage here got out of using makeup as much before I, that's what I did morning noon and night I just literally sat around doing makeup and so much fun but things have changed so much that it just naturally changes the landscape of my YouTube channel when I you know that's what I did. That's all I thought about. That's all I consumed was makeup content. And I feel like that's changed a lot. I wanna do house tours. I wanna do more um, home related things. And I've been putting it off because I just, I have this perfectionism mindset where I feel like everything that I do has to be literally perfect. So I've talked about this before. I, I don't know if there's any way to combat this, but because I want everything that I do to be literally perfect, it prevents me from doing much of anything. I've talked about the slogan, the saying, don't let perfection stop you from good enough. I've said this a thousand times. I can say it a thousand more, but it doesn't change my brain. Every time I think of it, I'm like, no, it's not good enough, not good enough. And so here we are. I'm going in with a Sigma matte bronzer light. My hair needs to get out of my face. Perfect. That's better for you guys. We had a pavilion built in our backyard. I call it a gazebo. But when I say gazebo, people are like, that's not a gazebo. <laughs> that's way bigger than I thought. So same. Um, it ended up being absolutely beautiful. It is so wonderful. We use it constantly. It has been one of the best things that we've built. Um, we didn't build it ourselves. We had contractors build it. So beautiful. And um, we had that go in and we had the harvest party in it and it was just lovely to have. And I am so, so blessed and lucky to have something so wonderful. And it has been just an amazing addition. And uh, the harvest party was super fun. We had so many kids come and that is like the best. Kids are the life of any party and we had so much fun with them here. Okay, so this is the Makeup by Mario Master Blade Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Almost Black. I, I don't know, man, sometimes I like to go a little bit darker. The Almost Black has been really nice. I like the way that it complements like the shade of my hair. By the way, look at how many silver hairs I have. But I really like the Almost Black. It's not too dark for me. It just has like a nice undertone to it. It's not too red by any means. And it's not so dark that I feel like I'm having to be careful with it. This is, me just using like medium pressure and just kind of going. I feel like it's really easy to use. Like such an underrated product. I don't see very many people talk about it. Although I say that, but this is coming from a person who doesn't even watch makeup content really anymore. And I would be so fascinated to hear from you guys. Do you? I feel like I used to watch every single review from every single person. First of all, nobody's really doing them anymore. But second, well, I, when I say nobody, I mean nobody as in the people that I kind of came up with, um, like the same beauty influencers that were doing it at the time. It's so weird because I always say like, oh, I haven't seen anybody using this. How would you? You're not watching beauty content. I'm gonna fix my butthole lips. 
the OGs will know. These came in PR. Look at this. This is the bite-sized eyeshadow quads. So you have all the different ones. These look so good. Look at these. Bro, these look, don't they look amazing? Sigma, I feel like is such a slept on brand. They come out with such good products. These are so user friendly. I feel like the one that really speaks to me um, on an everyday basis would be probably this one, which I think at least a no surprise to anyone, but this one is creme brulee. And look at the colors when I open it here. Oh my God, stunning. Tiramisu, this one's like a cool tone. Ooh, look at that. See what I mean? I feel like Sigma is just so good. Peach pie. Oh my God, come on. That's peach pie. Bonbon, Woohoo! blueberry parfait, that sucker. Ooh, caramel apple. <laughs> Dude, they are so pretty. And so I'm gonna use one of these. I think I'm gonna go for hmm, probably one of these two. What do you guys think? I feel like we've had our time with the, I'm going creme brulee. I know you guys probably wanna see me use the cool tone one. If you wanna see me use that in an upcoming video, let me know. I'm gonna go in with Nutty. Not only are they pretty colors, I love the size of something like this, is something that right now, at this juncture in my life, I'm going to take with me if I'm gonna travel anywhere, which I'm not traveling anywhere, but to the grocery store, farmer's market. But the size is literally perfect, and it's not overwhelming. I don't know, something like this feels like one of those palettes that you can use if you're kind of I hate to say beginner. If you know somebody in your life, like for holiday and you're trying to get them a gift, I feel like something like this is so not intimidating. Like you would receive this and be excited to use it because there's something about a palette that has, you know, 50 shades in it of all differing colors of neutral, or maybe it's got a pop of blue and you're like, dude, how would I even use that? You just don't really know because it's just like overwhelming. There's something about a palette that only has four shades that feels like approachable, you know? Honestly, I feel like Sigma is one of those makeup brands to me. Like I said before, they feel kind of slept on and sort of, they don't, I don't feel like they take the spotlight as often as they should because they're such high quality. And I feel like they kind of hit the mark on what is actually usable by everyday people that isn't just like these super bright, like I know some people love that stuff and I used to too, like that was my bread and butter, you know what I mean? Like every day I needed something that was like greens and pinks and purples and blues. I wanted like the rainbowiest eye look, but as I've grown up, I've realized that like something like this is just, this is what I want in my life. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Brittle, which is the darker shade and I'm taking this on a Nabla pointed crease brush and I'm gonna really like, Pack it on the inner and outer. I think I might go in with like a little halo eye today. Cause why not? It's a beautiful day outside. It's been so, well, oh no, it's blue. It's been so crummy lately, really rainy and cold. And then today we woke up and it's blue skies and sunshine, stunning. When I woke up a couple of weeks ago, I said, I said, ooh, it's cotton candy skies outside. And our kiddo, <laughs> woke up and we saw that there was pink and blue and purple in the skies. And now every morning that he's woken up since that day, without realizing what he's even talking about, he goes, it's not sunny. It's just cotton candy. <laughs> he doesn't know what it means. It's just, it's cotton candy out there. I'm gonna take that brush that I went in with initially just to kind of soften the edges. And I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is caramelized. Literally one of the most, hello? Look at this shade. My sweet baby Jesus. Eight pounds, six ounce, baby Jesus. <laughs> it's like molten gold. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this custard shade. It's the very lightest and kind of tap it right in the center just to make it look even more dimensional. Oh, that's pretty. It's gonna be really, gonna be really be. It's gonna look really pretty when it's got lashes on. This is the Sigma Firm Shader E57. And I'm gonna go in with both of those shades kind of mixed together, the nutty and brittle. I'm really gonna pull those in on the lower lash. 
because I did a really dark lower lash the other day and I just love the way that it looked. So I've been going a lot more neutral and light in the last couple of years. My husband just sent me the cutest pictures of my son out eating Chipotle. They're out together right now. God, stop. So I'm using a brown eyeliner. I am just trying to use up the rest of my Makeup Geek Full Spectrum eyeliner pencil. And I just love it. I know that this is kind of an outdated makeup technique maybe in some people's eyes to do the dark liner, but like, dude, will it ever be out of style? Will it, or is it already? Like, are you guys gonna answer me and be like, yes, it literally is. Okay, fine, shit. So for lashes today, I'm gonna try these, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I tried the Kiss lashes. Uh, I cannot think of what they are called off the top of my head right now. They are the ones that are not cruelty free because Kiss is not cruelty free. They are the ones with the self adhesive on them. You don't have to use any glue on them and heaven help me, I need a dupe for them that is cruelty free. If you guys have it, please send it my way. Dude, I tried them because I had them here and I thought, let me just see if there's any good. They're so simple. They go under your lashes. Stop. So everyone keeps telling me use Lashify, but that's different. You know what I mean? Like Lashify is, from what I understand, you have to use like an adhesive, like gossamer adhesive, and then you put them on and they're supposed to last like a week or something. That's not quite what I had in mind. I was just wanting like the daily ones that you use and like, you know, they have like the self adhesive on them, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Lashify does have those. I don't know. You guys can let me know. These are the Leo Lash from Melt Cosmetics. I'm so looking forward to cleaning my house. When everybody leaves and I have the house to myself, I always wondered why moms would be like, it's not that I wanna leave, it's that I want to be here, but alone. Because I'm not able to get what I wanna get done done when I have somebody constantly wanting to like, play with me, play toys, play dinosaurs, play, can you hang out with me? You wanna draw and color and pictures? And like, I look, I love my son so freaking much. I love him so much. I want to play with him all day long, but trying to get anything else done, like deep cleaning is is near impossible when he's underfoot constantly and really gets pissed off at me if I say no, or if I'm in the middle of doing something else. So I'm really looking forward to going downstairs and like deep cleaning my house today. Like I'm talking deep, deep, deep. And I'm gonna take you guys with me because I need to do it. And I just wanna chat with you guys about like so many things while I'm doing it. I got this microphone that I can wear so I can walk around and you guys can, ha can have really good audio while I'm doing that. I'm just, I don't know, really trying to get my life together. It's actually mind blowing how fast a three-year-old can mess up a house. It's so crazy. And yes, I try to have him help me clean, but like when you cook all of your meals from home, you're not eating out a lot. You're, you know, canning and doing all the things that we do. And you have chickens and cats and a toddler. And like, you're in the house all the time, like playing and using your toys and doing all that kind of stuff. It just gets messed up so fast. And the deep cleaning part is the part that I can't really get to as often as I want to. And so that's what I'm gonna work on today. And I'm really looking forward to it. As pathetic as it sounds to like be so excited to deep clean my house, I am so excited. My baby. My baby. Oh my God. All right, now I'm just gonna toss some mascara on. Hold up, maybe I'm not. Has there ever been a mascara? Let's use this one for now, but this is Essence, Essence, Essence Lash Princess. I've never used this, but it's sitting here. Hey, I think those look pretty nice. I might want a little brightness on my inner corner. Ooh, I think that looks pretty actually, really pretty. You know what I never do? I never put, like ever, highlight my brow bone. That is not something I do or really have ever done. Maybe I'll try it. I don't know about it. It feels a little 2000s to me. Yikes, uh, take some powder and kind of tone that down. Not a fan of the highlighted brow bone. I'm gonna go in with the Essence Pure Nude Blush and this is in the shade Shimmery Rose. It's pretty. I like these blushes a lot. It's like almost like a highlighter and blush in one. It's not overly highlighty. For lips, I, I'm not gonna do anything that you guys are gonna be excited about. I do my lips the exact opposite of how people like me to do them. And I know it drives you guys crazy, I know. I can do a little bit of lip liner, but. I like a diffused lip and I'm not gonna say sorry. Major Glow Gloss from Patrick Ta. Ooh, I forgot these are minty. I feel like I need something else, like a little bit more of a 
bronzer. I'm gonna try a little bit of this one. This is the Melt Ultra Matte Powder Bronzer in Santa Cruz. Ooh, that's probably a little too dark for me, but maybe that's what I need. Just a little bit. It looks like it's gonna be extremely dark on me because that's not, it's not my shade, but I feel like it just blends so beautifully that it's not overpowering. And so it just seems like it's not like crazy pigmented in a bad way. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a nice way. Let's contour out that double chin. And then I got a little something going on here that I need to address. Right. I'm gonna do my hair and I will be right back. Okay, and I got my hair done and that's it. That is the video. I hope I hope it was entertaining to watch in any way and that you guys saw some products that you thought were cool. I did, I really like these Sigma palettes. I think they're beautiful. I like the way the eye looks a lot. I am just really happy with all of it and I feel like it came together really well. I love rediscovering old favorites. The Pure Foreign one, Love Yourself, is so good. Again, not sponsored. I know it feels like I'm sponsored because I'm like, it comes in 100 shades. Like I'm doing talking points, but that's just because I've been using it for years and, and I love it. I've always loved it. I will always love it. it, is such a good foundation. Oh, by the way, the other day, I literally came in here with some scissors and I just started chopping away at my bangs. So now I have these little tiny wispy bangs and I forgot that I have a cowlick right here. I saw a girl on TikTok, you guys can let me know. I saw her and she permed the front of her hair where her cowlick is down and dude, it, it worked. She like took some perm solution and like pushed it down. So I might consider that because I have like this little cowlick right here and it makes it to where when I have bangs, they look weird. But I needed something to ch just change my hair up a little bit. I don't know, I just felt like a change. So that was this video. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope it was fun to watch. And I will have all the products that I use listed in the description down below and that that's it. I just wanted to do my makeup on camera with you guys today. Talk makeup and nothing else, nothing heavy, nothing a lot, just something simple and comforting and I love sitting up here and doing my makeup. It has been so much fun for me to do lately. I love just, I've been rediscovering how enjoyable it is to just sit and listen to a podcast and just zone out and do my makeup whenever I get the chance. I haven't been filming it because in, I, in, what I enjoy about it is doing it and not always talking about the products that I'm using, but just sitting in like vibing out. So that's what I have been doing lately and I really love it. So now I'm gonna go clean my kitchen and um, bring you guys along with me. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video.